What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the worst conversion rate that I've ever seen in my life, which is 0.8% in my little baby store. If you guys are new to my channel, I have two stores. I have Resar Nirvana, which is a little baby store that I just started with you guys uh, 21 days ago. So this store is new, it has 51 items in it, and it's just getting going. I started this store with no money. Uh, my other store, Daily Refinement, it has 27,000 listings in it, over 100 sales a day, and it's pretty even. Um, most of my days look very similar, and I have a 0.2% click-through rate, which that means is like a, of uh, a 1,000 people see my listings scrolling, two of them will click on it. Of those two people, if I had 100 people look at my listing, I would sell three items according to this chart, versus my new baby store. If 100 people showed up, not even one person would buy anything, which means there's a lot of looky lose, right? People are coming by, but they're not buying anything. So resellers are, usually don't have a lot of money because they're just starting from scratch. Maybe they're in between jobs. So that's why I did this experiment starting with zero dollars. But we can't stand for the slow traffic. We won't take it. So the first thing you're going to do, smash the like button, consider subscribing if you like this experiment. But we're going to do the triple threat. So in this video, we're going to go over the triple threat method to increasing your sales. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and do three things. Number one, we're going to create a markdown. So I'm close to your marketing hub, scroll down, sales event plus markdown. I'm gonna do 20% off everything in my store because I'm not in the storage business. I want all of my items to sell immediately. I'm gonna use categories. I'm gonna do all inventory, YOLO, let's get all this inventory sold. So I'm gonna save and review that because I'm gonna do a blanket 20% sale on the entire store. In Moving forward in this store, I will mark items up slightly to adjust for this 20% markup, but the, the 52 items that I have in my store right now, essentially I'm operating on house money, which means I started with no money. So these 52 items, when the money rolls in, after fees and everything and taxes, I'm gonna use all that money they build into the store. So we're gonna be creating a sale, so I'm gonna do 20% off. Um, let's see, let's call this 20% off. Let's get the party started. Okay, and then we'll start this right now. We'll go all the way to the end of the month. Um, from my colleague, Tekken Sports, he runs everything to the first of the month. Uh, I'm sorry, the 15th or the first of the month, so I'll actually go to the first of the month. That way I can just remember. I'll check on the first and the 15th of each month and renew my sale. So let's put, um, gotta get some money to pay the bills is the name of my sale. All right, so let's scroll through. I'm gonna go with these pictures, that's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and launch this. Okay, step number one of the triple threat is now done. Okay, so we've got a sale going, all my listings are in it. Hopefully by the time this video ends, this will have updated because it takes a while to, to process. Number two, promoted listings. Let's get it. So let's go book listing selection. I'm gonna do all my items and you know what? Since we're just starting, we're gonna do very, very conservative. We're gonna do uh, apply a single ad rate of 1%. Um, because we're just trying to get a taste and a feel for how promoted listings work. Um, I use a much higher rate in my regular store that I can't share with you or I'd have to eliminate you because I think it's proprietary information what you what you promote your listings at. So I will tell you for sure I do not promote um, the same across all categories. It doesn't make sense for me to do that because some items will sell without any promotion, right? This Eddie Bauer vest, doesn't really need promotion in my opinion because it's gonna get cold soon and it's just gonna sell because people want it. Um, but again, we're doing the triple threat method here where we do all the, the tricks and tips to get sales going. So let's go 1%. Let's continue. Uh, let's call this campaign number one for the win. All right, scroll down, launch. Okay, number two, complete. We now have promoted listings going. I'm not gonna take the guided tour, but you should if you're brand new, because I already know how promoted listings work. Uh, but if you don't know, do the information, read up on everything, because you need to know what you're doing. Right now, when you look at eBay, right now so far I've paid about 12% in fees. So are you ready to pay 12% plus the promoted listings fee? So it's gonna be a, probably around 13, 14% once this starts to go through, because I also signed up for a store. So I haven't been billed for the store yet, but when I do, uh, in my resource um, 
field guide, I put uh, a column in here for eBay store subscription. So $21.95 for the basic store. One of the reasons I signed up for the store is so I could do this triple threat thing because you get a lot more tools and a lot more resources. And the final value fee, if you guys have been following along step by step, is lower when you have a store. So I'm paying less in fees when the item sells. I haven't quite figured out what at what point is it worth it to get an eBay store just based on the final value fee, I don't know. You kind of need a PhD to figure out those exact fees, but I will tell you this spreadsheet is to the penny accurate. So if you guys want to know how eBay works, you can sign up for my uh, Patreon with my colleague Tekken Sports for $34.99. We will show you guys how to do this. It's about a dollar a day, and you get the field guide for free. You get my course for free. You get everything that we do for free included for that $1 a day, $35 per month promotion. So we've got two parts of the threat going. We've got this promotion. Let me go ahead and refresh this to see if it's started yet. It has. So all 51 items are now marked down 20%. So that if that should definitely boost sales, um, which is important because I got to get some cash to get this, this train moving. Advertising campaign, we turned down 1%. Um, and now we're going to create a coupon. This is what I create. Uh, I call this, you know, um, actually, I don't have a good name for this, but let's go ahead and do one. Let's do a coupon code. Let's go ahead and add one. So let's do coupon code must be unique. Let's call it reseller Nirvana. I highly doubt somebody is using that. No minimum purchase public coupon. Let's go crazy. An extra 20% off. So we're going 20% off the sale price plus another 20% off. It's going to go crazy. And I, I'm telling you, there's some items in my store that are already pretty good. But now I'm essentially marking them off 40% in the beginning. You can't really be greedy because I only have 12 feedback. So let's go ahead and launch this. I don't have any restrictions. I'm not going to set a budget. Uh, let's see if I have to select a picture. I'm going to see if I can actually, I'm just going to pick this pair of shoes. Uh, we're going to launch this right now and we're going to let it run until october 1st i do have another cheat code with this that my colleague came up with so if you join the facebook group you can ask him um, how he runs his coupons and he's been very successful with it so um, i'm just pulling every trick out of the book that i can to get this store rolling so let's go ahead and launch it oh description is so um i need more money to start this baby store help me out actually no one cares about my problems i'm just gonna put um if you want to win big in life this store has magical power no i won't, I won't be silly i'll just put this sale is amazing please take advantage boom very straightforward. This sale's amazing. Please take advantage. Um, thank you. So I just want to use as many characters as I can. See down the right, you'll see right here, extra 20% off. Um, the sale. Let me just, let me actually change it because I'm talking to the customer right now. What do I want the customer to think? Extra 20% off. Um, I'm really motivated. I'm going to put that in, in all caps because I want to be yelling. I'm really motivated to move my items. Let's go. Boom. Okay. There we go. Customer's going to see this. They really want to buy my items. Launched. Okay. This is pretty exciting because all the people who were watching my items, if you guys are new to eBay, number one, smash the like button. Number two, this is like a, let's call it a college level course on um, how eBay works because I've been doing this a long time and I wanna share all my insights with you. If you scroll down here um, to your active listings, you can see the watchers. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and right here. So I'm going to customize this table because I don't care about promoted listings or questions or bids or the current price. Oh, actually current price I do. Available quantity I don't need right now. So let's go ahead and save this. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I just want certain information. So right here you'll see the watchers. So let's go ahead and scroll by high to low. So you guys saw I just did that 20% promotion. Um, I don't know why the columns are so, let me see if I can refresh this. Okay, 
all of these watchers right here, all of these people, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever, like these 30, 40 people who are watching my items, all of them are going to get a 20, they're going to get this markdown message. This guy, he just marked all of his items down 20%. It's time to buy stuff. So I imagine tomorrow I'm going to have a record day um, because I just launched the triple threat. All three of these things just happened. I would be very surprised if I don't have a record day tomorrow because I just did them all at the same time. I just jacked my store up. So check out this sale chart. We started um, 21 days ago. So I love this. This calculator that I built tells you how long you've been doing it. So I have invested $239.50 into this. That's just been reinvested, but it's a bit deceiving because it includes the consignment. So I've consigned three items, um, a couple of pairs of shoes, and also an Apple trackpad that I wasn't using. So people will consign items with you if you um, do a good job and you pay them out quickly. So I just did a, a simple 50-50 split, meaning if I sell for $50 plus shipping, the shipping cost is separate. So $50 off of is the sale price. So my contract with myself is you get half of that. So if I sell something for 50, I get 25 and then of the other 25, all the fees come out of it. So you can see here, even though I sold the, um, let's see, I sold the trackpad for $63.99, I only made $24 profit because I had to take the fees out of my end of it, right? And I'm also holding the tax in a tax savings account for a hundred with a, for, with a, I mean, it's at $131.29. Look at that. That's money I'm not touching. $131 already, starting from zero. So that's very exciting. My average sale price is 30 bucks, making about $14 per item, which is pretty good in my opinion. I'm trying to get that up to 15. Um, so a lot of stuff's going on. You guys know, uh, the last video that I posted, a lot of people were distracted because I had my daughter in the video, so she's asleep now, making another video for you guys for fun. Um, starting Sunday, daily listing will begin and it will last forever. As long as I have this store, I will have at least one listing that goes up forever. Consistency is key. In my big store, I've been averaging over 100 new listings this entire year. Okay, starting 2021, every single day, the entire year, about over 100 listings go up. And as you can see, I have over 100 sales. So not surprising because my items sell in less than eight months. So I've already passed the, the, the 100 uh, goal. But I will tell you that my goal for this store is actually 200 items per day. So I haven't figured out how to do that yet because my I, I currently don't have the answer. I don't know how to sell 200 items a day because I, I haven't figured out all my processes yet. But eventually I will. And that brings me to a couple of questions I have with you guys for this new store. So number one, uh, so, I mean, let me just go through this again. I'm starting daily listing on Sunday because I'll have a little bit of money. Right now I have 23 bucks uh, to spend on new inventory. Um, so I should be able to start daily listing starting on Sunday, continue forever. I will build up a draft bank. So right here, if you look at my drafts, I don't have any. So if something happens and I, I, I'm busy or a family or an emergency, I wouldn't be able to, to get any listings up. I don't want that. I want my draft bank to be at least 14 items so I can take two weeks off just in case. So since I've had a baby five months ago, no, nothing has gone to plan. Everything, there's always something gets in the way of me having a perfect day, whether it's figuring out some kind of lactation consultant, doctor's appointment, uh, whatever. She had a... Um, I thing so we had to go see a specialist so I have not had one week where something didn't happen I had some tooth problems that I had to get adjusted it's been a rocky ride this year to be honest but it's okay because I think maybe as you it's just gonna be like this forever so I'm just getting used to curveballs coming into my life and I need a draft bank so I'm gonna launch the oldest draft at the end uh, when I'm so when I have drafts in here, I'm gonna launch the oldest one first because after a month, drafts start to expire and photos will disappear and eventually the draft will completely disappear. I haven't had one personally uh, have any issues if it's less than 30 days old. So I just recommend you go in there in a timely manner and get them launched. And I wanted to ask you guys, should I turn this store into a $100,000 profit store? So right now, the goal is 70 listings per week, but 
because it's already set up to do 140 listings a week or 20 a day, it only takes a couple of hours more because I already have the photo set up, the shipping set up. I already know how to list items. I already know where to buy them. And people are asking what kind of items I sell. I essentially sell clothing that you can get at thrift stores. And if you look through my items, they're all items that you can buy at Goodwill or, I'm sorry, let me back up, at the mall, REI or Nordstrom. Those are really where the origin of my items come from, the mall, REI, and Nordstrom. So if you guys spend time walking through those stores, you will see the brands that I sell. Nothing fancy. I sell um, Patagonia, Ivanka Trump, Tommy Bahama. Actually, I don't think Ivanka Trump's carried anywhere anymore. anymore. Pendleton, I sell Nike, Champion. This is a Jack Daniels shirt that I found. Nike, Columbia. This is a, I sell sports-related stuff when I find it, San Jose Sharks. So this is what I have in my store. And if you want to see what has sold, on the left side, you can click Sold Items. So you can see the 29 items that I've sold so far. A couple of baby books, a book about uh, Nick Saban. Um, it was a great book. You guys should read this if, if you have time. Foot Joy, I sold a scanner that I no longer use because I'm not selling on Amazon currently. Uh, Apollo, I sold the Bulbasaur plush because I'm in the Pokemon. I'm actually regretting selling that this Bulbasaur because he I found him at a flea market and for some reason he's in one of my videos and it has a really a lot of people watch that video. Um, the Duluth trading shirt has a beaver on it and I don't you know, I made a lot of sacrifices to make this experiment for you guys. I really like this shirt. Now it's gone. And I just I did that to show you guys. You start with things around the house. Now my beaver shirt is gone. So the least you could do is smash a like button because I really like that shirt and it's gone. I sold something I don't use anymore. This Arcteryx vest, to be completely honest with you guys, I, th I thrifted this for just a couple of bucks. Don't wear it anymore. It's not really that cold right now. So I got launched it. The Pliny the Elder hat that I sold was a brand new one that I never wore before. The other one that I wore that has sweat stains on it, I wear it in a lot of videos, is sitting behind me. The turtle shirt with the Ninja Turtles, this is a really cool shirt, sold for $20. Um, it's cool. And um, one thing that I would say that's interesting right now is I've been selling so many things that I no longer care about anything material. So all this stuff has no meaning to me in the store. So I don't have a problem of holding on to anything anymore. It's not really emotional to me. Even though it's a cool turtle shirt and it does fit me, I could care less. I'm ready ready to give it to a new owner. This J. Crew puffer jacket really helped. This is a big sale. Um, paying $4 and selling it for $60 really boosted up the capital. And that's why the store has so many items in it because use that item to buy it. So people were asking, what kind of items do I sell? The, the items that you would get at your local mall or REI outdoor stuff uh, and sports stuff, books. The, the, although the books I sold, didn't really make any money because I was just trying to get some feedback. Golf pants, um, this APC jeans sale really boosted me also because 80 bucks is a lot when you're just getting started with zero. And you know, this I got at the Goodwill bins and I will say that I know 90% of the brands for women's and men's jeans. I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a jeans expert yet, but I would consider myself one level above average for a jean seller. Not quite an expert yet, I will be eventually. It's one of the categories I sell in, but uh, I can recognize really good quality. And even though this pair of jeans has a hole in the pocket, okay, that I noted, I asked Mr. Farco, the buyer, you know, right, that the right hole has a pocket because it, I don't want a return. I don't want any, even though I have $131 for returns, I don't want a return. So I'm doing the best I can to accurately describe it to the T. Um, also, in my opinion, my photos are e excellent because I took them all outside. Um, so in the beginning, you don't really have a lot of money. So these are just taking outside with the sunlight. Come on, guys. Give me some props. This is the, I, in my opinion, these are pretty decent considering it's just a piece of carpet outside in the sun, right? Doesn't look that unprofessional. Um, I personally don't do my nails. That's why I use the ruler to hold down the size tag, but I think it looks nice if you do your nails, if you're gonna use your finger in the photo, uh, or you could have some kind of pointer, you could use a pen, um, but haven't quite sold this item yet. Let me go to the rest of the soles real quick. Oh. 
I sold two pairs of these Ianga shoes. So if somebody messaged me saying I have triplicate um, triplicate listings. So I have three of the same pair of shoes because I was trying to simplify my life once I started this Facebook group with my friends. So I actually, or my colleague rather, Tech and Sports. I was wearing the same pair of shoes every day and just rotating just to reduce my decision making. So the two pairs that were in the best condition already sold. So it's the same pair. And I also wanted to let you guys know that if you sell the same thing over and over again, you don't need to redo the research. So these have the exact same title and the exact same photo sequence, but they're not the same. So I still have one pair left, kind of my beater pair. Um, so I'm basically selling this just to get a feedback for $15.99 plus shipping. Hopefully I at least break even on it because I'm just trying to get this feedback rolling. As you guys know, I have 12 feedback and I really want to get 100 listings under my, or 100 sales under my belt because I want top rated seller. So scrolling to the right side here, if you, or I mean, you can customize this, but for me, my number one priority is getting top rated seller. So right now, uh, perfect metric so far, no returns. Um, and if you want to know what the qualifications are, scroll down, click, see how you can become a top rated seller to get that. And the reason why I want that is a lot of things are cheaper. Um, so I really want to get less um, less fees and I want to get a discount in shipping because I pay four or five percent more in this little store in shipping because I, I don't have that top rated seller discount. So. Trying to get that as soon as possible. Let's go back to Sold's Royal Robins vest. I don't know. Um, I, I feel like I got all the money. $29.99. I probably would have accepted $20 for it. Dallas Cowboys. This is a really, I don't know if it's cool, but sold for, for $20. And I feel like that's, that's decent. Um, I don't know why I would find this here, right? Um, it, it, it's surprising to me that I found the Cowboys uh, uh, button-up shirt here because this is 49ers country. So I don't know, it, but I found it. So Faherty is a shirt brand that sells well for me. So maybe it's a bolo you haven't heard of. Um, Bonobos golf pants sell well for me. This pair of pants, I've already had two scammers buy it. Um, so, you know, in the beginning, you're going to get a lot of scammers and that's okay. Carhartt. Uh, because you just got to learn how to how to deal with it as you get bigger there are more and more and more scammers and it's just part of daily life um tommy bahama shorts chicago cubs jersey uh ralph loren shirt john Barbado shirt sold the patriots um hoodie and i want to point out i originally put excellent condition and people corrected me saying it's not so i adjusted it as you guys can see the close-up of the logo it's got a little bit of cracking towards the top, right? Um, I consider that okay for a pre-owned item, but I did put excellent, so I changed it to good condition, some cracking on the logo, great for a new owner. I feel like the person that bought it maybe appreciates my honesty. Same thing with this Banana Republic dress. I put new, but discolored from age. This is new old stock, very old, but exceptionally cool. Okay, so. If you look at this dress, you can see the discolorations on it, right? It's not perfect. I didn't try to hide them. It's amazing what daylight can do because this is exactly what color the dress is. Um, so I don't know, because right now I, I, I've been taking my own photos for this um, store. If you look at my, my regular store, when we present dresses, it looks a little bit more professional in my opinion because it's on a hanger. So I think this looks a little, there's a little bit more shape in the dress versus it being flat and um and you can see my photographer she does her nails so it looks a little bit nicer um but i just i like the um presentation hanging a little bit more than flat on the ground but still fine i still sold um this dress on the ground um I don't know if this is necessarily unprofessional. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I like the carpet that I use outside more than the fuzzy carpet I use inside. Um, but again, it's 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 no biggie either way. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, this dress is very cool. Linen is in, and the lady already left me a good feedback. She said, um, "What did she say?" I thought she left me a feedback. Oh, here we go. Two thumbs up as described, fast shipping. So I love it. And to be, to show you guys something interesting, let me see if I can go to the um, shipping labels. 
shipping labels. Let's see where my items are at. So down here we've got delivered, 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 delivered. We've got uh, one, two, three, four items in transit, five items in transit, and then two items that haven't been scanned yet. So as you guys know, um, I have a, I'm surprised those aren't scanned yet, but since I started doing a pretty big amount of volume, the post office is now going, they have like a dedicated person to scan and I can just drop off in the back as long as I sort. So why hasn't this scanned yet? Anyway, I'll have to find out tomorrow. Usually in that area, the business section, they scan my items immediately. So I'll have to ask. I don't know why um, it hasn't been scanned yet. Although, let's see. It says five. I, I, my guess is this has already been scanned. It just hasn't shown up yet, which is surprising to me. And as you guys know, on Wednesdays, I record a podcast. So today was insane because it's Wednesday evening right now. So what I did was I sourced all morning. I got to work. I shipped 140 items in like an hour and 15 minutes. And I came back. I had some, some food. I recorded a podcast and then I hung out with my family until about 9 p.m. And it's 10 o'clock now. So in the last hour, I made a video for you guys because I really enjoy making videos. And now I'm going to go to sleep. So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.